In the mid-1930s, Italy laid down two Littorio-class battleships. These ships attracted the interest of the Soviet Union, and they contacted Italy in an attempt to purchase the project. The Italians refused, but instead offered a battleship project UP-41, armed with 406mm artillery. The project had been in the design stage for two years, and the Italians offered to adapt it to fit the requirements put forward by the Soviets, but it was never finished. This unrealized project served as the basis for Italian Tier 9 premium battleship Marco Polo. The UP-41 project developed by the Ansaldo company fell in line with worldwide trends of naval shipbuilding in the mid-1930s. A displacement of 41,000 tons, that's what the number 41 in the designation stands for, 406mm main battery, high speed and good armour. This ship would have been a great fit for our Naval Legend series, but in 1937 the Italians decided that it would be much faster to construct two new battleships using the proven Littorio project rather than building the new UP-41, especially considering that the 406mm guns for it had never been created. However, the World of Warships designers thought that this project deserved a better fate than gathering dust in archives. We took the hull and general layout of UP-41 and created Marco Polo using typical solutions for Italian battleships of that period. Thus, her main belt of composite armor and anti-torpedo defense system are borrowed from the Littorio-class ships. However, when it came to the main battery, we needed to apply some serious science. We had to develop a ballistic solution for a new gun. Here are the facts. The largest naval gun caliber that has ever been deployed in the Italian Navy was 381 mm To obtain the characteristics of a 406 mm gun, we recalculated the 381 mm shell through its caliber cube, then determined the shell weight and necessary charge weight to ensure the required muzzle velocity. The results of these calculations were then converted into our usual in-game specifications, using some magic game dev rituals. By the way, our How It Works video series has a clear breakdown of these specifications, so so make sure to check it out. As a result, we have a very interesting Italian battleship in the form of Marco Polo, with nine quite powerful 406mm guns as her main battery. However, she can't boast of having a long firing range. This means that the battleship is best suited to fighting at medium ranges, where her guns, armor and maneuverability allow her to be effective against the majority of her adversaries. Her semi-armor-piercing shells can inflict quite high damage, and the spotting aircraft consumable gives you the ability to interfere with the plans of any approaching enemies or catch up with a retreating adversary. Moreover, thanks to her mobility and good concealment, Marco Polo is capable of quickly taking up a position at medium range. With precise control, her decent maneuverability will help you reduce the probability of taking critical damage. I recommend paying attention to the following upgrades to increase the combat performance of this ship. Main Armaments Modification 1 Damage Control System Modification 1 Aiming Systems Modification 1 Damage Control System Modification 2 Concealment System Modification 1 Main Battery Modification 3 Battleship Marco Polo is a premium ship, which means that she brings her owner increased XP and credit income like a true Venetian merchant. Finally, a question for the most attentive viewers. How many times have I mentioned the name of the great Italian explorer Marco Polo in this episode? Share your answer in comments. Good luck, Captains.